from the Stratus Arena inside the George and Phyllis Rothman Center in Hackensack, New Jersey. This is Northeast Conference Basketball. Tonight, the Wagner Seahawks cross over the Gothels and into the Garden State to pay a visit to the FDU Knights. And two quick turnovers from Wagner. They got to settle into their offense. On the way to Francione, high off the glass and in. Blankenship, who, a sophomore from Texas, who just checked in last time out. And Tomley, great five. Surpassed last year's conference win total. They've already surpassed last year's overall win total. And of course, it would keep them in the running for one of the top eight playoff spots. And now the Seahawks. Carter passes to her left. Clark. Clark on the drive from about eight feet away, and that rattles home. It's increased opportunity the last couple times out. Weimer on the drive, gives it up down low to Blanket Ship off the window. That was good reckon. Go pulling down the rebound now on the break. It's a three on one. Pass to the left, and Simmons lays it in, and she's fouled. There's some room. Now passing off to the left, Mazonius. To Sullivan. Passing left to right, Lenahan unloads and rattles in a three. Nice luxury to have if you have someone who can go up and get it like that. We'll go with the finish. Six point advantage, count it and one. And to get back out there, she gets going right away. And how about the pressure by Wagner forcing another turnover? Carter through the seams, high off the glass and in. Just sort of tore apart the back of that zone there and caught Fairly Dickinson sleeping on the back end, but Graham answers with a big three. We're past to Dixon Edwards, 10 on the shot clock. Step back three, and it's good. Sierra Clark. All day. Driving the baseline, kicking back out to the top of the key. Kyla Carter. Driving the baseline, it's Clark. Making it look easy. Managing lazy on defense. Clark. Off her dribble, passes to her right. Dixon Edwards from the right side for three. Bucket here would get them within one possession. Bacata to Comley. Comley for three. And that was a calm one from Comley. Successfully look at her working for position in there. There you go, Kim. They go right to Mark. Off balance. Count it. And one. 15 second differential in the two clocks. FDU jumped out to a 4-0 lead. Wagner went on a big run after that. FDU hasn't led since. They're going for the lead here, and they got it! Courtney Blankenship with the three! Wow! Blankenship and a half where they just came out on a tear. It seemed like your team was fighting back the whole game. What, besides this big shot, what allowed you to get back and win this game? I'm so proud of the team because we nothing was really, we weren't making our shots and we kept we kept fighting. Elise Graham really saved us. She came off the bench and really lit a fire on us. Amina Markovic had some big plays and Courtney, what, what a shot, but she played a great overall game. So I just like how they grinded it out. It wasn't our A game. Wagner played very good. We were down the whole game and we just kind of battled right there and hung in there and sometimes you hit three, three in the last few seconds to win the game. A an important win for you time-wise coming off of of two tough losses. So to, to get back in the win column, what does this mean for your team moving forward? Well, we're tied for third, so we're right there. In the, everybody's in the same spot. You, you got to win every game, and but this was big because we had lost. We won five in a row, and we lost a couple. We need to get, get a win here. We did it. All right, I'm going to come over here, star player. Congratulations, coach. Courtney, I saw your look after that shot. I think yeah. you were a little bit excited there. Yeah, pretty much. A at what point did you know that ball was coming in you, and at what point did you know it was going in? I mean, it was just a motion offense, so whoever had the open shot had to take it, and I just was in that position, and you know, one of us has to hit like a, a clutch shot, so that was just my opportunity, and uh, right when it came off, you know, it just felt good, so. Yeah. It's always good when, it, when you know it's going in, and, and this was a really impressive win for you guys, battling back, and you have some veterans now who have played a year or two. Just how have you seen your team develop from last year into this year now in third place in the conference? Uh, through offseason, we worked really, really hard. We knew that we could be a great team, and so through offseason, we just kept hitting the gym, and we knew that this year we could be a real threat. We've never been a threat before, and now we actually have the keys to where we could actually make it really uh, far in this conference. So we just worked hard. So Awesome. And how many times do you think you're going to watch that replay tonight? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so many times. I already know I have a text from my parents, probably. <laughs> I'm sure they're very proud. Well, congratulations on the big time shot and the win, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. All right, Craig, back to you.